So I got the four prototypes in there and there's enough room to walk around them. And over here in this little void area is where we're going to sit a chair and do some mix. This will be the mixing area and then we got to be able to walk around this. So the space for the warm room is just big enough that I can get it all in there and heat it up with the curtain closed, the plastic curtain and keep the heat in there. So that's my next thing. Get the curtain going and then I'll start the release. Okay, I wanted to detail something here. Uh, we usually, you know, put the rubber on and invariably the rubber gets in that screw head and you can't get it out. It's impossible almost. So what we've taken to doing is we fold the piece of tape in a certain way and we lay it over there without it going into the edge and it really comes off easy. So all I do is just take a piece of uh, tape, but it's important that you just don't tape it and then you can't pull the tape up again because you don't have a tab. So I've created a little system where I'll take a little stretch, I'll roll a tab, a fold it over onto itself so it's not sticky anymore. I've got a little bit of a tab. I cut it. So it's only about that long. And then I stay away from wrapping it over that edge. I just get it over the screw head and there you go. This little piece sticks up and you can pull it off effortlessly when you go to take up the rubber uh, forms, which invariably you do to take the mold apart. But if you'll notice, all of these have this. Here's one here, another one. Every screw has a, has a piece of tape over it so that we can easily get it up. But yet nothing rubber-wise is in the screw. That's a little tip. We'll leave you be with that.
Look at the steam coming off of this thing. I don't know if you can see it. That thing is hot. This stops convection and the other one stops conduction. So you, you generate heat as the cement cures and you lock it in with both the plastic and the blankets and you are cooking this thing. It was the, warm, the warm room was up to about 70 last night. And I've done this without the warm room, just the plastic and the blanket. And this thing is, you can't hardly keep your hand here, it's that hot. I don't know if you can see that steam rising off there, but that's ready for uh, demolding. And it's only been about 14 hours since I made it. Okay, when I first started, I started to pull the back off because this had the undercut, so I wanted to lift it off this way, and that worked great. So that hard mold is ready to be flipped over. We'll get the rubber off next. Now see, when you release this, there's no pulling. I've done molds to where you're pulling with all that's in you because you didn't seal it. You didn't release it good, and I overdo that now, and this rubber is just plopping right off. And the piece is ready. I've got to make another set of these, so this is ready to, to, to use again. And that mold is pristine inside. Look at that. And it's oily because of the release. It could be uh, put right into service without even releasing it. You could cast into this. So let's see what we can do now. Again, a lovely, perfect mold. You can't beat that. That's nice. You can clearly see that there are strap details in the hard mold. So when you put the rubber there, there's still enough of a channel underneath that the, the straps can pull for adjusting for the rigging to pull the actual casting out with the rubber. If you put it in here, even though it comes to the edge, sometimes it's difficult to get a hold of. The straps just make it easier. And that is how she's done. Again, this just gives us uh, the texture where this gives us the formation. If you tried to lay this on the table, it wouldn't keep that perfect straight uh, shape this provides that, this provides the smooth texture that we're after. All right, so I successfully profiled this in all areas because this just popped right off. And that wouldn't happen if you had a shape that was like this with the rubber. All of my rubber is like this, tapered on at least a six degree angle and boom, out it comes. And again, the rubber pops right off, is real oily. That's a good signature that uh, it was made perfected. Fits like a glove. <laughs> 